Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. And today is the very first episode of a brand new series. A brand new series on the channel that hopefully some of you are interested in and some of you will watch. Today is the very first episode of the brand new series called Whiskey and Weight Loss or Weight Loss and Whiskey or something catchy that hopefully people will see and be like, oh, I want to watch that. So if you have any good ideas for the series name, put it in the comments below. The amount of people who have reached out to me and been like, hey, Matt, looking not as fat. I figured that this video and this series is a long overdue thing. So in today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit about my weight loss journey throughout my entire life and the current one that I'm on. And we'll talk about the future of this series and where it could potentially go from here. But before we go any deeper into today's video, I am over the moon to tell you about the brand new channel partner and the sponsor of this video, Magic Spoon. Heck yeah! Magic Spoon reached out and they were like, hey Matt, do you wanna work with Magic Spoon? And I was like, guess what? I love Magic Spoon. I eat Magic Spoon. My children love Magic Spoon. So guess what? Absolutely, you can pay me to talk about Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon is a high protein, gluten-free, grain-free, keto-friendly cereal with zero grams of sugar. They have nostalgic flavors that remind you of your childhood, and I'm not talking about Elmer's glue, no. I'm talking about the good stuff, the good things from childhood, like my favorite, fruity. They also have cocoa, peanut butter, and frosted. High protein, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, wheat free, naturally flavored, totally delicious, childlike cereal for grown ups. And guess what? Sometimes I act like a grown up. Magic Spoon just makes me happy. And they knew it would because Magic Spoon has a 100% happiness guarantee. If you're unhappy with Magic Spoon for any reason, guess what? Give you your money back. You can have it back. Start your new year off right with Magic Spoon. Click on my link in the description below or scan the QR code on the screen or you can just go to magicspoon.com slash ADHD. Be sure to use promo code ADHD to save $5 off your order. Now that I've finished my cereal and told you all about Magic Spoon, it's time to talk about the topic of today's video. How I don't look like as much of a buffoon. So back in April, I weighed as much as I've ever weighed in my whole life, 338 pounds. High blood pressure, untreated sleep apnea, erectile dysfunction, and all the things that go along with being ginormic. No energy during the day and not sleeping good at night. As my five-year-old would say, I was a disaster. The weird thing about being 338 pounds was the fact that I haven't always been 338 pounds. I'm gonna post a picture of my weight chart since like 2009, and it will resemble like a bad cardiac rhythm. It's just like this. I have successfully lost 130 plus pounds twice in my life, and I've gained it back every time. Starting weight at the end of April 2022, I was 338 pounds, and today I am down to 245 pounds. So that's 93 pounds down and I'm feeling a lot better. I'm feeling so much better. I've gone through phases in my life where I've been like super into fitness and super into like bodybuilding even. I've gone through phases in my life where I was super into the double down sandwich at KFC like several times a day. I'm an emotional eater and I'm not afraid to say it. I gain weight really easily. I have a tendency to overeat with huge portions from the moment I wake up until the moment I go to bed at night. I also have a sweet tooth and then add a whiskey channel on top of that where I'm sipping whiskey multiple times a week. And the weight, she went up. The weight went up quite a bit. Quite a bit, you could say. And as you get bigger, you don't wanna move as much because it's harder. So it's easier to gain weight because you're not burning as many calories. So at the end of April, I was like, Matt, you're in your late 30s. You have two children who you want to see grow up. You have a beautiful wife and a beautiful life. So why not make the most of it? Get the weight off and enjoy yourself. So on April 28th, I set out to be a very smaller version of me. 
in future videos of this series, I'll get into what I've been doing to lose the weight. I will get into what I'm eating, what I'm doing for exercise, what has worked for me, what hasn't worked for me. And we're just gonna do it from like the start. I'm just gonna assume that all of you are 338 pounds and are looking to do the same thing I'm doing. And I'm gonna say this as well. Nothing I say in this video series is going to be like medical advice. I'm not a friggin' doctor, okay? Some people would say I'm a doctor of whiskey or I have a doctorate in whiskey or a master's degree in whiskey or a PhD in whiskey, which sounds like a good channel name. Whiskey PhD. Hmm. But nothing I'm gonna tell you you should take as medical advice and nothing I'm gonna tell you is gonna work for everybody. I'm just gonna tell you about my journey. I'm gonna tell you about what I've been doing and what I'm gonna continue to do and what I wanna do in the future. This is a really weird thing for me to talk to the camera about because I'm very self-conscious and I'm afraid of gaining the weight back and I always have been. So by me being public about my weight loss, I then feel like there is a little bit of an extra pressure on me to not gain weight back. And some people would think that having pressure on you is a good thing, but I've learned in the past that previous Matt loved pressure. Current Matt already has too much pressure. And when I add more pressure, guess what? Homie likes to eat eat the feelings away. So I've waited this long to start making these videos because I didn't want the extra pressure of having people be like, oh, Matt, you look good, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, I'll tell you everything I'm doing and I'm so smart and I'm so skinny. And then get fat again right away because that's typically what happens is I just get fat again right away or fatter. And that is a bit of a worry for me. And that's just a little bit of a look inside my head which is a total disaster as well. But I honestly think that this video series is gonna help me a lot. Talking about it to people out there who are probably going through the same thing. It's the beginning of the year, so a lot of people out there are like, hey, I wanna lose weight, or I'm on a health journey, or I'm on a whatever. But guess what, we also like whiskey. So there's gotta be an even balance, right? And who better to talk about the balance of trying to be healthy while drinking whiskey than the world's top whiskey taster? I can't think of a single person, not even Dr. Phil. These videos are also a bit weird for me because it's not what I do for videos. I don't have scripts. I don't like have things written down or like, I don't pre-plan for these videos. So I just sit down in front of a camera and talk to it. And that's kind of a problem when I'm not just sipping whiskey and thinking about what's coming to my mind. But if this is something that you'll watch, if it's something that you'd be interested in seeing more of, if this is something that I should continue this series, if it's a journey that you wanna go on with me, then let me know in the comments below. Let me know if this is something that we should do or something I should just stop. Like I said, I'm not a health expert, obviously, but I've been around the block a few times. And where I'm currently at mentally, is a good place. I'm in a good place and I one day hope to be able to buy a bottle of BTAC from somewhere at a reasonable price, but I wanna be able to live to see that day because if I'm not around to see it, then will I have really enjoyed that day? I don't think so. Like I said, leave a comment down below. Let me know if this is something you wanna see more of. My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey, and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on going out of your comfort zone and maybe doing something a little different. I'm looking at a camera talking about weight loss instead of whiskey, but I'm also incorporating whiskey into the weight loss. So it's sort of like not super weird, but also kind of weird. But it's out of my comfort zone and I feel like I'm in the middle of a job interview and the interviewer is looking at me like I would be a good doorstop. Unless of course it was a refrigerator door, in which case the interviewer would be looking at me like not a great person to look after the fridge door. Cause that baby be open all day, all day. Still more whiskey reviews coming. The whiskey stuff isn't changing baby, but I might supplement this channel with a little bit of whiskey and weight loss. Will this series get new viewers to the channel? Maybe, there's a lot of fat people out there and a lot of fat people who like alcohol. I'm allowed to say fat people because I am one. And even when I'm not one anymore, I'll still identify as one, so suck on that.